Hi everyone, welcome to our video. In today's video, we'll be going into the concept of data structures and algorithms. This is a Java topic and we'll specifically be going into linked lists. Shown in the diagrams on the bottom of the slideshow includes linked lists and data structures and algorithms. It will give you a brief overview of what we will be covering in today's video. Now we'll be discussing the different types of linked lists that are available. The first type we have is singly linked list. The second type we have is doubly linked list. The third type we have is circular singly linked list. And the fourth type we have is circular doubly linked list. In this video, we will only be discussing the singly linked list and the doubly linked list. However, if you would like an explanation on the circular singly linked list or the circular doubly linked list, please feel free to comment below. Now we'll be moving on to data structure one or otherwise known as singly linked lists. In the data structure one, you can only traverse forwards. So this means that in this example, we have one, two, three, four, five. You can only traverse forward and not backward. So we would be not five, four, three, two, one, and we only be traversed forward, which is one, two, three, four, five. So now we have prepared a visual representation of what a singly linked list would look like. In this example, a linked list will hold three objects, otherwise known as nodes. And this is an example, so you can have an n number of nodes that you would like, but for now, we will just be holding three objects. So now we have node one, which will be split up into two parts. We have node two, which will also be split up into two parts. And we have node three, which will also be split up into two parts. Next, we will have the address of node one. In this example, we're using 512. And now let's say the address of node two is 32. And lastly, we have the address of node three. We're saying it's going to be 220. Now we will be using a head pointer. The head pointer points to only node one, and it's going to point to the entire node one, not to one half or the other half. It will point to the entire node. And for each node, we will have a data value and a next pointer, a data value and a next pointer, and a data value and a next pointer. So now an example with this, of this would be a data value of 11 and a next pointer of 32. The data of 11 is any value that we would like. However, in the next pointer, we are using 32 because it will take the address of the node 2 and put it into the original node 1. Following this, we have data value 15 and next pointer 220. Next pointer will always point to the address of the next node over. So this is 220 because the address of node 3 is 220. Now we have a data value of 35. And now the next pointer null is because it's null because there is no other address of node 4. Or we do not have another node to compensate for the next pointer. Hence, it will leave a value of null. And then lastly, we can link the singly linked list all together and piece it together into one linked list. So the output when displayed will be 11, 15, 35, which are the data values of each mode. Thank you everyone for watching. Happy coding. And please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more coding content. Have a great day.